All right, so now I set this finger up to this corner of the, of the, of the wheel, to that corner right there. Put some clamps on it. Yeah, these are kind of, like I say, hokey clamps. I made some regular key T slot nuts, but haven't uh, made any clamps for it. It doesn't have to be monster tight either. I just got a washer hanging on this side, and that'll work, All right? As long as it doesn't move around. Okay. Now, if I can get here. Get over here and give you a little bit of a close-up of what I've got going on. Now, if you look here, if you look here, you can see the finger. Camera stopped. Okay, I got the finger set right on the corner of this wheel, right here. Matter of fact, I'm going to move it. This way, just a little bit. I pulled it out just a little bit. So that when I go into the grind position, right there, that's what I want. Okay, so we're ready to hook up the air and uh, give this one a grind. I'm going to take in mark this all up or mark the at least one flute so I can see where I'm at we'll do the secondary after we do the primary if we have to and that one you set the, the protractor to 25 25 degrees Five degrees and twenty-five. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. All right. I got to get the air. Make sure I got air in the tank here. Over here. No, I don't. <laughs> so I got to run the air compressor first. So I'm going to cut away while the air compressor is pumping up, and we'll be back and we'll grind that end mill. Okay, air compressor sh shut off. Got some air now. Should have some air. Oh, got there. I have the regulator turned way down. So I turn it up. A little more. There we go. Now, forgot to say one other thing is to set this back stop. So that you start at the same time, same spot every time. So we're going to start right there. Wrong L wrench. All right. Right there. So we'll hold that up tight against the block, the, your air bearing. And just... Okay. We are ready.
So you pull it back, take it in there, bring it up here. I'm gonna crank it up closer. All right, and then bring it back, bring it up. All right, we'll turn the wheel on. Take her in. And I'll take it in until it just touches. Bring it back. Next flute. Next flute. So you want it to fall off the finger just as it exits the wheel. And I'm going to take a couple, another pass around him. We didn't take much, didn't have to take much on this end mill. All right, that should be it already. Nice and smooth all the way. All right, so we got one end mill done. That wasn't hard, was it? <laughs> Some of them that are in worse shape than this, I'm gonna try to find one that we gotta actually do some heavy duty grinding on. Oh, I don't want to cut my finger. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. So that'll be a good cutting end mill. Let's see if I can find another three ace that's that's beat. Try to find one that's beat that we can do some heavy duty grinding on. And This is a 716 so I, with a 3 8 shank. I don't know if the finger will grab that or um, if there's enough room in there for the finger to grab that or not. Oops. So I'll have to see. Not really. Finger needs to be moved in. Finger's not riding in the right spot, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a whirl and try it. Tighten that up. Bring that in. We're gonna give her a try. Now we need to back the, back away from the wheel. All right, here we go. I always turn it the wrong way first. It's because this, this threads are backwards on this 
cross slide. I'm going to give it a couple. All right. Now, on this one, I'm going to take the Dremel tool because I couldn't get all the way up to the top. And I'll just take and Dremel that away so that it's undercut there. So it doesn't, in case I ever want, if I'm making a slot with that, punching through, I don't want to, you know, end up with it oversized. With the slot oversized and being wondering why is that <laughs> bigger than the... 